Imagine you're playing a game and you need to find the player's health. The health value is stored somewhere in the game's memory, but how do you find that? That's where pointers come in. A pointer is a special variable that stores a memory's address. It's like a GPS for your data, telling you where to look in a computer's memory. This is huge for game hacking because pointers let us track down stuff like health, ammo, or score. Let's write some code to see pointers in action. First, we declare a variable, say int health equals 100. This is our player's health. To create a pointer, we use the asterisk symbol like this. This says, hey, this pointer will hold the address of an integer. Now, to get the memory address of health, we use the ampersand and sign. So health pointer equals ampersand health. Stores the address of health in our pointer. Want to read the value at that address? That's called dereferencing. And we use the asterisk again, like asterisk health pointer. This gives us the value stored at that address, in this case, 100. Let's see this in code. Run this and you'll see the health value and its memory address. Cool, right? Pointers are like your cheat codes for memory. Now, why are pointers a big deal for game hacking? Games store important stuff, like your health or ammo, in memory. But these values can move around as the game runs, especially in complex games. Pointers are how cheats find and follow those values. Imagine you're building a cheat to lock your health at 100. You'd use a pointer to track the memory address where the game stores your health. Even if the game moves that value, a pointer can follow it using something called a pointer chain. This is how aimbots, wall hacks, and other cheats work. They are all about manipulating memory with pointers. Mind blowing yet? Pointers are powerful, but they can be tricky. 